You're watching Australasian Bus and Coach TV and today we're test driving a model of bus that's been on the road in Australia in one form or another for nearly 40 years and in that time sold more than 20,000 units and of course it's the venerable Toyota Coaster which has had a recent upgrade and today we're going to kick off our drive at one of the Coaster's main natural habitats, the airport. The coaster has a reputation for bulletproof reliability and it's a good little bus to drive. Toyota's trusty four-cylinder, four-litre turbo diesel engine propels you along nicely off the mark, on arterial roads and on the freeway. That's despite its modest 150 horsepower and a touch under 400 newton metres of torque. The engine is pretty quiet too, especially up the back of course where there is no vibration either. The deluxe version of the coaster we drove has the four-speed fully automatic transmission and I particularly like the little kick-down button on the handle which quickly and easily gives you a spurt of power when you need it. The coaster steers, handles and brakes well and of course is easily manoeuvrable. The only downside from a driving point of view is that we reckon the rear view mirrors are too small and they could do with a spotter mirror as well. Toyota coasters and airports go together because this little bus is popular with tour and shuttle operators amongst many others. You often see them towing a trailer because while there's plenty of room at the feet of the front passenger, there's no room for luggage behind the rear row of seats. The seats are very comfortable by the way, with good lumbar support and nice high backs. There are 21 of them in the coaster, including the driver's seat, which unfortunately doesn't have any height adjustment. The driver's seat doesn't have suspension either, but it doesn't need it, because the whole bus rides very well anyway, courtesy of the long leaf springs at the rear and the independent front suspension. The coaster had an upgrade last year, which includes three-point seat belts with emergency locking retractor. It's surprising it took Toyota so long to upgrade from the traditional lap sash seat belts. There was now also a very handy reversing camera as standard and satellite navigation as standard. To lessen distraction, there is voice recognition for the sat-nav, sound system and connected smartphone. There's no electronic stability control though. This deluxe auto coaster retails for $125,000. You can read more about it in an upcoming issue of ABC magazine.